what's going on everybody? So in today's video we're going to go head out to uh, Cars and Barbecue because it's evening time, not Cars and Coffee, Cars and Barbecue. They're cooking up ribs. So I'm pretty excited about that. You know they'll do burgers and stuff like that. So I haven't been to this place before but they do it every other week and it's literally right down the road here from a house. So we're gonna go check it out. All sorts of cars. The last turnout they had, they said they had right around 100 cars. So hopefully, uh, I mean, it is extremely hot outside. We're hoping that we get some shade and some AC inside the shop. So should be a decent turnout. Maybe hopefully we can get a couple of people there or one, whoever. Uh, maybe we can make a trip down to Mexico. End the night with that, because that's always fun. Um, and see what that's all about. Also, wanted to just quickly remind everybody, uh, Streetcar Takeover. Um, that is coming up here in August, so mm, right around a month or so away, three weeks. Uh, I signed up blue here. We're going to do the roll racing in that. So I signed up to do the roll racing. I didn't do drag racing. Reason being is because I may or may not have tires by then. I don't want to sign up to do the drag racing and then I end up not getting my tires in time. So because of which I signed up for the roll and I know these tires as crappy as they are, they still do pretty good on the street. So if they can handle it on the street, I'll be okay at the track. If anybody that is going to be there that is interested, I will have Trigger Society shirts. So if anybody is interested in snagging up a shirt, let me know, drop a comment, and I will bring a box full of shirts if anyone is interested at Streetcar Takeover. Oh, it's hot. Get that AC going. Okay, so I'm here inside SMG Speed Shop. Like I said, literally just down the road from my house. And uh, this place is awesome. So all the cars are outside. We'll go take a look at what he's got outside. I just got done eating. Some ribs, uh, some good ribs. So let's take a look. He has literally everything. He works on anything from imports to hot rods, Mustangs, you name it. Uh, if I need any more gas jugs, well, he's got plenty to go around. So the welds, everything. I also found out he refills nitrous. So literally five minutes from my house instead of driving to summit racing which is about 40 minutes half hour or so of a drive save me a lot of time and to drive that far i can just drive right down the road from my house so it's kind of cool might need a pick me up shirt This is my buddy Justin's car, his Gen 3 10 or 80 with an ESX, sorry, ESS, I forgot what size it was, G3X maybe? All right, he's inside the shop, I'll have to ask him. I think he said it was a G3X, I think I believe it was. Uh, made nine something on E5. But he's running a uh, 315s, I think, the ET Street R's. So, his kit's for sale. Justin, I got my birthday coming up here in a few days, so if you want to give me a nice birthday present. Oh, I won't mind. So we're not going to be able to do it tonight because of the kids. But uh, Justin and I were just talking. We're going to probably get together maybe tomorrow and do a couple hits in his car. Uh, I just want to see. He said he's putting down like nine something, as I said, on the 85 with his ESX uh, G3X. Keep forgetting what he says but i think it was the g3x is what he said he has but uh we're gonna see because it's for sale and i uh might be interested kind of want to see what it's like so we might go out tomorrow probably in the evening times so when it's not so hot and uh see what it's like All right, 
so this here is Justin. This is his Gen 3. What year is it again? 2019. 2019 with the ESS G3X, right? Correct. Got it right. I was messed up the X part. I wasn't sure if it was an X. So did you put the kit on yourself or did you buy it with that? Um, I bought it from a buddy of mine who bought it almost brand new. Uh, ended up selling the selling his Mustang a uh, thousand miles after he got it. Yeah. And took the kit for a pretty good steal. Ended up getting the triple pump fuel system with 525s, the ESS G3X with three pulleys, and the 1050X injectors, all for $7,500. You can't beat that price, man. No. You can't beat that uh, price. Hell yeah. There's a little over eleven, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 worth of stuff, so uh, got it. Yep, I'll hold that for you, Bo. <laughs> uh, hold this, hold this, hold this too. Yeah, it's kids, man. Yeah. Same age uh, as my son. Original setup, so it's got long tubes. Um, and it's got the BMR Race K member on it, uh, the exhaust, the catback on it. There's no cats. The catback is a uh, valved exhaust, titanium exhaust. Okay. About, yeah, uh, yeah. About 12 to 15 pounds for the entire catback. It's very light. Uh, it's ran off vacuum, so I don't. My neighbors don't hate me. I uh, heard you pull up. It sounded. It, it wasn't loud, but it sounded real nice. Yeah, it's got a good. It's got a good idle note to yeah. it. Um, still, I come from a pusher rod V8. Yeah, world, yeah. So. Yeah. Getting used to these coyotes and the sounds they make is a little off to me, yeah. uh, but it sounds as good as it can, uh, and I can quiet it down whenever I start in the morning. Yeah, and it's ran good. off vacuum rather than you don't have to have an active exhaust. I've seen a lot of people going with the whole valve ex uh, exhaust because of that. If you don't have active exhaust, it's just with a a, rem uh, a remote, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, Correct. exactly. So yeah, yeah. I can show you the remote, and it's it's like a supercar yep. remote. They're very, very heavy. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's crazy. Yep. It's comes you know, with two of them. Uh, that is heavier than what you'd expect that. Yeah, to it's be. Like a yeah, McLaren remote or yeah. something like that. It's you uh, got here faster than I thought you would. I raced a. Uh, I found a, a wide body, white wide body R8 on the highway. I got here pretty quick. You should have invited him. I tried flagging him over. We raced right from under, after underneath the bridge. Yeah. Uh, and then I tried flagging him over to come over, but they just gave me the thumbs oh, up. Ah, shoot. That's funny. Yeah. Okay, so we're picking this up here the next day. Uh, we just didn't have the chance to do the rest of what we were wanting to do because obviously we had our kids. So I'm back here with Justin. We're going to go make a little hop skip across the border because I want to see what uh, almost a thousand horsepower feels like in a gen 3 so he just topped off his e85 oh. you probably get like what five miles per gallon at full throttle probably yeah yeah, yeah about it's you know a couple hits will be at half a tank yeah it's all about the smiles per gallon so we're gonna go do a couple hits and uh come back here let the car cool down and uh i don't know have a good time it's my weekend so you um i don't want to change my underwear so let's just make sure I don't gotta change do it. some higher mile per hour rolls. Like, do you wanna do like 60 to 130 or what do you wanna yeah, do? Yeah, we can do a 60 to 130. Okay. Like I said, this this uh, this ESS kit he has may or may not be for sale. He hasn't quite decided yet, right? Yeah, I haven't decided if I wanted the yeah. upgrade head units, uh, bigger intercooler. You said you might go turp skis, right? Might go yeah. big single or twins. Or just go with an F1A 94 Pro Charger. Yeah, yeah. Um, depending are, on what that's the big ES, boys. Yeah, yeah. Depending on what ESS comes out with, uh, with their G4R. Yeah. That's supposedly uh, out. Yeah. A few people or one, one or two people may have their hands on them already. Okay. Uh, not 100, percent but I would definitely look at. <laughs> I definitely look at trading this yeah. this head unit in. Have you done a 
draggy yet in this thing, 60 to 130 with how it's currently set up now? Yes, um, I think there was a little bit of belt slip uh, and a little bit of spinning. Yeah. And unfortunately the DA was 38.75, so almost 4,000 bad humidity and it was like 7.0. Well, humidity in Texas is just about every single day. Yep. This time of year. So. It's about a 7.0. Okay. And a 4,000 DA. That hit pretty good. That hit better. Well, you were doing 60 instead of 40. 40 the, first the first hit was time. a little high. Yeah. 40. So. I was in third gear at 40 mile per hour the first yeah. hit, so it didn't seem as violent, as harsh. Yeah. Uh, this one was definitely at 60 in third gear. You can just feel it's in the, it's in the RPM range that yeah. he likes. And it just went from there. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I want one. <laughs> like a VMP or like a, a root style it's just so you gotta kind of wait for the power to come in a little bit yeah I mean it's it's centrifugal so it's the same like you know how boost would build in with like a turbo obviously yep. I'm used to you know I had the VMP Gen 2R on my GT500 and that thing was this it you get in the the RPM power band and it's just fucking instant yeah, so and then this, I had street tires on, so I'd, I would just go sideways. Yeah, that's never, it's never so, fun and hot days, hot days like today, I would hook. But anything below, like, 80, if I try to do a 60 roll on that thing, I had the PS4s on that thing, I would oh, yeah. just, I wouldn't get yeah. any traction at all. So if I did any 60 rolls on that thing, if you guys have seen any of my older stuff back with the GT500, I, with those tires, I still, I couldn't hook. But uh, Yeah, tires are definitely a must. Tires, obviously, suspension. Which is why I haven't done any dig racing in that car yet, just because, uh, well, it would just be stupid. All right, so I want to go ahead and thank Justin for coming back out with me again today, and uh, maybe we want to go with an ESS kit. So, uh, they're definitely, obviously, if you have been in a car that's ESS versus like a root, like a VMP or like a Whipple, they're not as violent. Uh, it's more smooth and uh, just a different experience. More drivable if you're looking for something with a lot of power for like a daily driver that style with that or like a pro charger is much i'd say a better option to go with if you're looking for more like daily driver aspects so 100 yep. 100 but on that note we're going to close this one out wrap it up if you guys are watching not subscribe please do me a favor hit subscribe drop a like and hopefully we'll have him more in upcoming videos as well but you guys have a good one see ya Bye. Bye.